All right, hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Como. I'm here with another rescue case. This one is the Keystone uh, referred uh, by a, a, a local dentist. And uh, right now, uh, what we're looking at is the uh, opening of the screw itself, of the, of the uh, top of the screw. You can see now it's color-coded blue. And blue is the uh, is the certain diameter of this implant. I believe it's a regular, or might be a regular uh, neck or a wide neck, uh, regardless of color. Um, the object is in the middle. So what we'd like to do first is to take the diode laser and just trim some of that tissue away. Let's do that now. And we'll just slowly go in there. Let's have a uh, white surgical tip. Okay, do a retraction. There we go. We might have to reinitialize. Let's see. Oh, just turn it on. Okay, so it's a 810 diode laser. We'll go ahead and start trimming away this tissue. And just circular fashion. And just being careful on the buckle. And this most of this is palatal tissue, so it's very fibrous. And so we're about about 1.2 watts, so we're good. We're in good, good shape. Okay? Is it hurt or is it just warm? Mm. Both a little tingly. You hanging in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, a little more trimming. Anything more? Let me know. I'll numb you some more. Okay, so now we have full access, and what we're going to end up with is uh, end up with is a hopefully a situation where we can just apply a little bit of what we call tartar and stain remover. So that's our first stop. All right, so lasers off. We'll do that first. So I use a micro brush for that. And let me come right back in place. I'm just going to move my eye cups on my microscope back out. Okay. This is just called pre-soaking. We're going to go through the motions. Now, anything that goes in a rotational, not a uh, counter-rotation, but clockwise rotation, that's actually the opposite of what you're seeing because I'm looking through a mirror. So we want to go counterclockwise. So we are, it's just that you're seeing it in the opposite direction. So that's the rotation. Unfortunately, we don't have enough burrs or, or micro burrs that will drill in that direction. So that's why we use slots and purchase points, slots, things like that. We can put a lever instrument in place and just try to get that, that screw to come out. Sometimes we get pretty lucky. We can avoid the drill out completely by just pre-soaking. So that's why we do this first. Do it for about 10 minutes. While it's soaking, we look at the color of the material itself. If it goes from clear to a chalky color, we know that it's doing something. You know, it's cleaning something. Any problem at all underneath? You good? Mm -hmm. Alright, great. Now we're going to use a long explorer, an endodontic explorer. 
We steal that from the root canal people. It's a long tip on the end of it, nice sharp tip on the end of it, and see if we can get this to budge, get it to move. All right. Sometimes that's all you need to do, and you can actually turn these things right on out, just like that. All right, so we'll have to make an adjustment. No drill out today. We're just getting it out. Here it comes. This is from soaking it. That's all I did. I just soaked it. You need to put the uh, the pink screen suction on now. Yeah, just trust your brain, not your eyes so much sometimes. Now I'm going to soak it again. So that was pretty neat, huh? Okay, come on out for a second. I'm just going to soak it. There you go. you when it's going to be probably about four more turns yeah I want to make sure Phyllis knows what's going on that's okay we're right at the point of getting this out so let's let's get it out all right coming out Well, I'm kind of glad no one went in here and really tried hard to get this out because uh, it would have made my job a lot harder. You would have been hanging out with us more today, though. You had to lay in the comfy chair. That's just about out, so you want to go a little closer now. I'll leave you right there, and as I turn, it'll come out, and you can, it'll go right into your screen. Okay, now the other thing I could use is I have a... Sp uh, here it comes. Here it comes. I have another instrument I could use to demonstrate how to get that out, but right now, since it's so playful, it wants to just come straight out, so I'll just follow the path of least resistance. But we do have a uh, a fork instrument that can take that out in a jiffy. But it's it's just unscrewing nicely. I might have to use it. I'm going to use it. Yep. So just stay put. You can stay in there. I'll get the instrument. I'll show you what it is. I make these out of um, carbide. They're just old lab burrs basically and I cut the ends off and make this little thing called a fork looks like the the British king or queen's crown when you see it and that's it and you see it looks like a crown instrument and that's gonna hover over the those little prongs will hover right over the um, the screw head broken screw excuse me there's no head in there anymore okay so you just slide that in there like so And if the fit is right, it should come straight out. I can need one a little bit bigger. There we go. Coming out. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Nicole, right underneath it. That's a pretty long screw. There it is. Okay, you got it. Yep, it's in your screen. I want to take a good look at that, but you got a pristine implant. Everybody's going to be happy. I'll show you the finished product here, folks. There's the screw. And what we're going to do is uh, put a little plug in there for our patient so she can get right back to her dentist. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo with another successful rescue case. Uh, everybody's cheering back here, stomping up and thumbs up, tapping their heels. All right, all the best. Take care. If you got a patient that needs me, just feel free to call the office. All the best. Have a happy day.